everyone, welcome to the finale of LRL season one. This week we are at Liverpool's Chilwell Abbey Hotel, which is actually known to be the second most haunted place in Liverpool. The building was constructed in the 15th century and over that's just what it's by the way, did you just get onto that? Yeah. Oh. And over the years it's sheltered the likes of monks, knights, lords, and many famous actors and artists. Allegedly it is haunted by a 15th century ghost, which I'm thinking if this is true, then this ghost is gonna be very restless considering it's been here for that long, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so good news. <laughs> yeah! Yes! yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe we've got a fan one! This area itself is actually infamous for the piece of land across the street called the Bloody Acre. And um, the Bloody Acre itself is sight and is it? Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I think it might just be someone. Maybe, I don't know. Know. <laughs> Maybe other people are staying at this hotel. <laughs> um, apparently, every local around here knows how dangerous and active the Bloody Acre is when it comes to paranormal entities. Um, allegedly, there's black goblins and there's the angel of death, no other oh, than the angel no. of death, that rises from the grounds of the Bloody Acre and she walks the grounds of the cemetery, which is like right next door. Local legend also says that at the beginning of both world wars, the angel of death rises to the spire at the top of the church um, to kind of signify that a war is imminent and that happens on the First World War and the Second World War, allegedly. So we're gonna go and see if we can bump into her tonight. Oh, <laughs> I hope not. For unknown reasons, apparently this land was never ever supposed to be built on. However, in the 15th century, they did build the church and from then it kind of expanded. But the bloody acre still stands unbuilt on and the council have actually said they will still refuse to build on a piece of land again for unknown reasons. I'm thinking, Apart, obviously due to haunted reasons, they're meant to see colourful ghosts, obviously as Rosie said, black goblins there, and what else was there? Oh, the, <laughs> the angel of death, obviously. Apparently, the, there's graves over at the cemetery that are hundreds upon hundreds of years old. Um, it's so full that people who aren't even remotely related are stacked on top of one another. There's so many, oh, I know, so many, Actually. like, Wrestler souls could just be in spitting distance from where we are right now because you separated from your family, you haven't got like, you know, a kind of a kind of final resting place, you're sharing it with a stranger. Literally. Um, oh that's freaking me out. It's know. sad, isn't it? It is quite sad, but then one thing's for sure as well, what we actually have been told by locals is that no one will go into that cemetery after dark. Yeah, that's just been fun. Oh, so Again, sad. I know we say this every video, but we literally have just started this nine minutes ago testing the camera and these are fresh batteries. There's like to be charged for the be <laughs> I know. Yeah, allegedly nobody will go into the cemetery after dark. So obviously us being us, that's exactly what we're gonna do in about <laughs> half an hour's time. Why? I don't know. And why? why? I literally I feel like backtracking because I really don't want to go. Don't be scared, baby girl. <laughs> also, I read a line that in the 19th century, a man apparently had an accident at this hotel. It was an inn at the time. A gardener said that he fell off a wall and like he ended up like getting black eyes and stuff like that, fractured arm. Um, and then he went and told his friends the next day that he got beaten up by someone, but he can't say who it was by. Um, basically, this whole incident is surrounded with mystery. He died the following day and still nobody knows. The coroner couldn't rule how he died. Um, so again, that's a kind of a restless soul and unsolved mystery. So if this ghost is sort of lurking in this area, then it could be angry that no one knows how he actually died. No, but it's making me think that he died by a spirit in this house or, sorry, hotel or like area. Like mysteriously, if the coroner couldn't like put what happened, like I don't even want to toy with that out. idea. I don't want to do Ouija board anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I forgot to add that. Um, basically, he, he got a fractured arm, but and, well, and the death support, like the death certificate, ruled that he had like a fracture behind his eye as well. But I feel like that was just ew. What is going on? Like they are literally gone. fresh batteries. It's creeping me out. Oh, <sighs> I don't want to do this. It's completely off. What's going on? What? Oh, so they haven't that's... ran out? It's so weird. But the fresh dose, so it's not even like the playing up and like the about to run out, they are literally fresh batteries. But it's just completely turned off. You tried to turn that back on and <sighs> refused to come on until a second later the family came back on. Do you know what, on. right? You, like, Louise was just like, homing in on that story, what she was just saying to us. Something about that, they'd also found like a fracture behind the eye or something. It's when, it's when we stick the voucher behind the eye, that's when it went off before. 
I honestly God, when you said the fact behind the eyes when it went off before, you'll obviously That's viewers will see that. Oh but the thing God. is, it's on. I went to it until now, you know. See, now it won't switch back. What the fuck? Okay, let's just carry on of saying what you're saying. Oh, okay. What that is making me believe is, I don't know if I'm running away with this, but if he's here now and he's listening, maybe he's trying to tell us that's not how he died. Because it's like, it, you know, like when you kind of get like a light bulb above your head in cartoons when you're like on the money. Yeah. Well, we're saying, I don't want to say it again because the light's got it off, that thing about, <laughs> and it goes off. <laughs> saying. <gasps> what the fuck? No, I'm no. sorry. Is this a coincidence? coincidence? I feel like this could be a coincidence. Like, if anyone's watching this and thinks that we're acting, this is one we can't touch that you battery can, light. You can hear me trying to click the light on now, can't you? I'm like, the Wait, light. Wait, in. What the fuck? Let's try and say it again. Um. <laughs> What's going on? No, what the hell is going on? Maybe we should change batteries now and see if it continues. Let me just try one last time and then we will change batteries because I want to prove a point of... But we've just we just changed the batteries before we started filming. Yeah. Okay. So, what was you saying about the man? The you were saying nothing. Oh. What is happening? I was we, not like, out at all until this started. Oh, mm, no. This is weird. Should we just try the thousand rocks that quick, or not? Yeah. Shall we? Oh, Listen, I know we can ask a direct question. Say, is this you? Um, messing with our light. This is actually freaking me out, you know, like I actually feel sick now. What the fuck is that? Banging. Banging. It sounds like someone's tapping on the window. Like oh, why does it sound like someone's tapping on the window? Because I was thinking, why is it coming back? That banging it's coming from, from there. there. The window is right there. Oh. Ew. I don't know what to do, it's scary. <laughs> It's empty out there, the got like the beer garden's dead. We're on like this bit of man, we're on like the night. second first or second floor, so like we're not on a low level yeah. so we can walk past them not. Oh my god. Where's the thousand rods? I'm getting freaked out. We're literally just, just trying video. to introduce the video and all of this happens. <laughs> we're not even two minutes into it. Oh my god. Oh yeah, by the way, like Amy's on the missing list. She's not here. Who's missing her? I am. I'm missing her. I'm, I'm missing scared. scared. We've, got, we've got no comfort blanket with Amy not being here, like the real though. Amy always went in places first. We miss her. <laughs> Ready? <clears throat> Shall I? Let's oh, down again. Should we change? Do people do dust spots? Can I just say how long this has stayed on for? Which? Without saying that thing. Oh yeah. How long that light stays on for without talking about Saying anything about the fracture behind the eye. <gasps> Fuck! I'm also saying that, that looks like it was me. Oh. What are you doing? Yeah, because like, you can see if I touch the light and the slightest way, you see how much the camera's rocking, yeah? You can hear it anyway, turn it on and off. Right, let's just do that, so that's why we've got activity. This is insane. <gasps> let's just go. If there's any supernatural presence, oh, let's fucking move already. No, just say, if, if, is anyone here with us first? Yeah. Is anyone here with us, any supernatural presence or existence? Please cross the rods if so. What the hell? First time. Thank you. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, turn the light back on. Wait, let me put the flashlight on because we have to do you can see the rods. Right, so the batteries are now changed. They are fresh batteries. I've literally just came off charge. And we put the camera light on the highest setting as well. So you can definitely notice the difference if it does change. Should we ask again for presence just again to make sure we've got it? Yeah. Draw our energies and cross the rods if this is the man who had the mysterious injury. Cross the rods if this is you. Draw off us, the cameras, the batteries, our phones to cross these rods if this presence is the man who had the mysterious injury. They're probably trying to cross. Maybe she doesn't have any power. That right rod is going back and forth like that, so that just proves it was it was to be you that was to shake it. It just go one way. Do you cross both rods? Please cross both the rods if this is the man who had the mysterious injury. It's 
do you think? As if it's like being, oh no, it's not me. So Rosie's just made the point that it's like the rods are trying to cross, but then equally as, it, as the rods are trying to cross, it's getting pushed back out. So Rosie's saying there could be more than one spirit with us. So obviously someone's answering saying, no, it's not me. And someone's answering saying, yes, it is me. Drop off our batteries, our phones, our cameras, our lights to reopen these rods if there is more than one spirit here with us. You can use our lights, our phones, our batteries, our cameras to draw and you can draw on us as well to reopen these rods if there is more than one spirit here with us. To open? What the hell? Please open these rods further if there is a female presence here with us. If there is a female presence here with us, please open these rods further. The left one's really going out. It's female, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, we were like two seconds of the video and we've already done thousand rods. That was not the plan. We yeah, haven't even showed you around. <laughs> I feel that's what it I've got That's what it there. is. You said draw the four energies, now you feel exhausted. But is it just me who are thinking it? No, it's just you being lazy. <laughs> Fancy a room tour. Do a room tour. So we've actually rented out two rooms tonight. We're currently in the single bedroom where Louise is maybe staying by herself or come to stay with me and Rosie. She is yet to the side. Oh, I'm oh. gonna give you a little tour around. Oh. I've just said draw off my energy and then now I've gotta say why we This is Louise's room. room. <laughs> it's an absolute thing. You can stay with us. I'll see, I'll see. So before we head into the other room, which we have yet to see, we still haven't been in, I've been here for hours. I know. <laughs> this is our room, which Louise is supposedly meant to be staying in tonight. So this is the room. I just think straight away, I thought this room was like creepy looking, like the shape of it, like, I'm just not feeling it. Kind of feels a bit like a, like a jail cell. Kind of feels like you're lying in bed, you'll think what's over in that corner, because you can't see it. The fear oh, of in the room. mirror. What's there, who knows. I know. But I thought straight away, it's this fireplace, I think that's like a proper Victorian fireplace, and, and it's, it's full on, out. it's blocked off. That gave me the creeps. Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? I remember when we walked past them, there was painted windows on the side of the bills, and that's... Yeah. Did there used to be windows there and they had to board them up? Yeah. Mm, why? Weird. Why is the pure bars on the windows? Is the pure bars on the windows? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I know, that's a jail cell. Room 5 is on the other side of the hotel as well, so it gives us more area to explore. explore. Yeah. All the rooms are named after famous celebrities. This one's JM Barry. This is the double room, so this one is going to be bigger. I'll definitely probably be in this room later. Yeah, I will die right with you. in a single bed. <laughs> Oh, that just creeped me out straight away. Ew, no, 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 this is definitely... Oh, oh there's, there's two beds in here for us to sleep in. <laughs> You'll see me in that bed later. I just probably got the creeps of that. That reminds me of like a horror swing of like a film, like a scary film. I don't know why, but to me it looks like the, um, like the chopping block when you go and get behind. <gasps> oh my God, Oh my does. God, it does. I think the windows are proper creepy though. Like this is like proper... Like dead blow in the wind, that sounds stupid, they blow in the wind, but like probably creepy horror movie where they blow in the wind. But I think the layout of this room is less scary because you can see everything. You just said the windows. I'm so sorry for talking over you, Louise, but you just said that the windows are creepy. This one's propped open with the Holy Bible. Ew. Why? Oh, and a big spider underneath it as well. What were you saying, Louise? I said that I think the layout of this room is less scary just because it's so open plans where in that room it's sort of like, like what I said, you don't know what's around the corner. That camera's out of focus on you. Ooh. 
Oh yeah, it's in focus now. The rooms are weird shaped though, aren't they? I think the thing is with places like this because it was designed like obviously centuries ago, like 15 centuries did you say? Yeah. Like it's not designed to be laid out the way modern furniture is. So like they wanted to like fit a TV at the foot of the bed with the and put a bathroom in there, you know what I mean? They probably back then. They'd probably be fitting like ten people in a room like this. Ew! Imagine you know that my spirit's yeah, yeah. in here with us now. If it's an inn, if it's somewhere where like where this suite would be, you'd have a public bathroom. Exactly. Downstairs. It'd be somewhere. It wouldn't even be inside. So if this was home to these the spirits who lived here, then they've been disrupted with like the renovations and stuff, yeah. haven't they? And you don't know how many people like, if you know, workers that have came passing through Liverpool and everything like that. That if because this was just an inn, it wasn't like a house. People who have come and gone and I just want to add to that these like famous artists and famous actors and stuff like loved back in the day loved this place because it was so like cultural and historical and stuff. Um, so this was a place that people like many people loved to come to. So obviously if they passed and loved it, this could be their place where they reside, even if they didn't live here all the time. So maybe yeah. Even though it were in a house, there definitely could be like spirits here. That's why there's that theory that like. You know, when places are reconstructed or like redesigned when they've been made like centuries ago, like, you know, when you see a ghost like walk through a wall or something, apparently that's like where a door would have been. So like to them, they're like reliving their life over and over again, like a recording. So we're currently about to leave and head over to the bloody acre across the road. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely petrified. I haven't shrubbed for the past hour. Honestly, oh. with Hannah, have a nice dinner. And all Lindsay, <laughs> all as Lindsay has done is just be like, think about every reason why we should not go. And me and Rosie just didn't really enjoy dinner because of it. But bear in mind, right, it's going to be short, so we're going to have to scale a wall to try and get in. It's meant to be alarmed, Rosie said. So obviously we could get caught. Don't want to go to jail. And it's obviously it could be scary people in there with weapons, so. Oh yeah, it's what No, it's just not going to be. And that's 101 reasons why we shouldn't go. Exactly. Chill walls are nice area, we'll be fine. Also though as well, um, we're going to have to walk through a park, even though the bloody acre is right across the road from us, in order not to get caught. Rosie is suggesting that we walk through a park. What time is it? 10 o'clock at night. I've never been in a park this late before. <laughs> we um, haven't. <laughs> so, this yeah, I'm true. scared. Do, do you know what, as well, what's even more embarrassing for you is that, like, the majority of our viewers, I know for a fact, have all been rotten in a park at the age of, like, 15 or something. You didn't start drinking until you were like 19 or something. And now we're at the big age of 21 and we didn't want to go to the park. Who wants to be in the park at night? Not me. Rosie. Hey. <laughs> Woo! Also, we just want to add, if we do turn the camera light off and you can't see it on, but you can hear us, that's obviously just to make sure no one sees our camera robs us. Mm-hmm. Don't want to die today. Nuh-uh. Lego. If you get a Lego in every video, it's me that says it. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong way. First time she's bothered to open a door by herself. <laughs> so here is the outside of the hotel, and there's a spire where the angel of death appears. So apparently, all of this land here is meant to be really haunted. So we're gonna go and find out. There's fences with, there's fences with holes in there, we can maybe climb it, but the hotel's looking out at us, isn't it? But look right here, yeah. This is the hotel, right? So turn around, this is the way that we're standing, yeah. There's the chair. This is the um, Bloody Acre, right there, on that fence. So if we go into the park, yeah, we can hop the fence into Bloody Acre and get through the churchyard that way. I say we do that. This is scary. Can we not just hop that fence there? Look, Rosie thinks that. it's alarmed. Not even that, we could just drop it like an anchor. I'm just there, look. I'm a bit scared now. I've literally not thought about it all night since we've been here, and now that we're actually getting to it, I'm like, mm. Unlike me, who's been overthinking it all night. <laughs> it is, but it's literally the entrance to it there. Oh, it's oh, so scary. Yeah. You can't walk through that. Oh, my God, no, there's like an opening. Like, you've got to walk through that. Yeah. <gasps> no, it is petrifying news. Like, that looks like the park. No, no, it's just petrifying. Anyone could be in that park. You always get told, don't go in parks, and especially at night time. Yeah, that's kids. Yeah, I'm no. a kid, basically. Kids. We've just turned, we've just reached the young age of 21. Of course, we're still young. <laughs> I'm vulnerable. Oh, God, the gate for the park. Oh, the gate for the park is locked. Yeah, I'm <laughs> 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 Oh, no. Oh, no rats. The thing is, though, like, 
how are we actually realistically going to climb this, right? And even if we did climb it, if something happens, how are we getting out? I'm sorry, but that's too tight to buy. I'll have to have no Can you see it? This is what I mean. Even with the light on, you literally cannot see it. At Should all. I put my flashlight on? Oh, if we can't get in. Like, what are we actually going to do now? And we're going to have to jump the fence in the graveyard one by one. Um, this is not turn the light off so that it's not bang on because the hotel is literally facing it. We're just going to have to jump The hotel it. is literally there and we'd be jumping a fence right across the road oh, here. Let's go. See, like, that's a little mini fence that we could easily jump over. But Rosie said it's alarm. See, look, there's alarm Where right there. Alarm? There. Yeah. The alarm's on the actual church, but the issue is, oh, there's another day now. We could easily just jump that. Hey, doesn't the priest normally live right by here? Yeah, they usually live. That's what I mean, isn't there? That that's house. probably his house, like, right there. Seriously, though, if locals don't even like walking around this area who know the area, we don't know this area, and like, they wouldn't walk here. Yeah. So, why are we? Oh, I wonder what that was over there. Back there. Like, human? Know what I mean before? I wonder what it was. Oh, I'm freaking out. This is hard. Like, fast. Oh, that grave's actually collapsed. Like, you can't see in it. Ew. Like, thousands and thousands of people were, like, buried here, on top of one another. Like, it's genuinely, like, freaking me out so bad. This is Spire as well. She hit someone. Oh, my God, I feel like I've just seen a black flag. I feel like I've just seen a black shadow. I feel like I've just seen a black shadow. What? That went there. Ten hours. Oh, my fucking God. Really? Oh, my fucking God. Shall we go? Yeah, where Billy comes out the floor. You walk on the ground, the ground's rather soft as well. Ew. Oh my fucking god. What? A leaf just fell from the tree, I think it was. I hope it was a leaf. Oh my god, this is too much. Let's get it. Shoo. Right, Rosie, you go. Just, just call out for someone. What, oh, Rosie? What? Oh my god, it's the lamp burst. Oh my god.
there's any supernatural presence, can you please show yourself? If there's any presence at all here with us in the cemetery, can you please show yourself? The wind has literally not been as bad the whole 25 minutes we've been out. Obviously this might just be a coincidence, but that is just scary how much it's just, just picked, picked up as soon as I've just asked. Did you not think it's out of way? Two foot steps. The wind came and picked up like Natural presence, can you please visually show yourself? Still isn't just gone. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, it really has just been so still. How was that just happened? Oh my god. If there's any supernatural presence here amongst us, can you please give us a sign? Oh my god, that tree trunk, I just thought that was someone laying on the floor. Oh my god. If there's any supernatural presence here amongst us, Before we leave, if there's anything else here amongst us, can you? <gasps> you said that. What was that? It was like fucking footsteps going over there. It's not like it's not like leaves like getting brushed up on the floor. It's like full on like. Even if there's anything else here, could you please give us a hand before we go? Oh, 
Really? But as, we, as we were leaving, the wind was still as we were leaving. So I don't even see you right now on the camera. You can't see? No, oh, you it's can't so see dark. Me. Oh my god, I feel so fucking freaked out by that. I, I, don't know, I don't know whether it was something or whether it was like. You think you're going to just try? longest time of my life ever like I was just watching just like come on hurry up hurry up hurry up and then every time I was stood there by myself I was scared in case cars coming past in case someone seemed just stood in the graveyard by myself oh my god you look like an undertaker as well in that jacket oh my god and then I kept thinking because it's so dark and obviously like when the wind was moving around obviously I'd hear like leaves on the floor and so I kept thinking there was someone next to me and it was oh my god it was just horrible Okay, so we've literally just got back to our hotel room. We did try and go back around the park so that we could climb the fence to try and get into the bloody acre and see what was going on there. But when we looked, the fences were like too high up. There was no breaks in between them neither that we could have like slipped through. And they were too high up that like if we got to the top and tried to jump, we would have literally like shattered our ankles. So after searching for like half an hour, we couldn't find any way in, so we decided to come back to the hotel um, and hold a seance and see if we can contact anyone that's here, since this still is the second most haunted area in Liverpool. I think it's worth giving it a try in the hotel room. If we can't get to Bloody Acre, this is the last thing that we can do. And as we did, and we did have a bit of activity earlier on in the day, so hopefully them same spirits will be open to communicate again. Yeah, true. Yeah. I think Lindsay was too freaked out to be outside of the hotel anyway. Yeah, actually, I, just, I, just, like, I wanted to leave that graveyard as soon as we set foot in. Like, that was too oh, much for me. Incredible. Even the noises there, like, obviously, like, it can be debunked, but, like, when you heard the twig snapping, like, you were standing on a twig, like... Yeah, it the, wasn't, it wasn't... It wasn't just the leaves, like, well. falling. It wasn't just leaves chains, falling, yeah. yeah. It was, like, it was, oh. like, movement. How would it be changed, though? Like, I don't know. I feel like that's proper, like... Obviously, I didn't know whether it happened or it didn't happen. Even like seeing the, the figure, like I feel like I expected myself to be more freaked out. Like even when I saw it, but I found myself constantly being like, oh, "If I just saw that, if I just think it, like yeah. keep the at me and I'm like, did I see it? Did not see it? Like, but then it, even like the noises and stuff. And then when it tapped me, I was like, no, it must be me here. It must be me here. Yeah. But like, imagine it weren't. Like imagine. I know. It's one of them. There was any in situations like this, you want to believe. That it's not there because I you're that scared. Even though yeah. we're, we're doing these videos and looking for something, now that something may have happened, I'm like, it didn't happen. Like, I don't want to believe yeah. because I'm thinking. That's your only assurance. I asked for the, I asked for the sign. I've just I asked oh the my sign. god, went wild. <laughs> and she's just jumped up like that. No, she actually did because I said to Lindsay, did. I said stop act, stop asking for physical signs because a physical sign could be snapping your neck, pushing you in front of like it could be anything. So I was like, make sure you ask for visual signs. And you're the only one who did. That felt something now, like. Physical? Yeah. That is disgusting. Oh my god. <laughs> I have just... Because I hope not for your sake. That is weird. I feel like that, like, it sounds super violated. Like, if it was, like, a spirit would have got this close to me to... Oh, it was, don't. It's the fact that it's been, you've been, like, it, if this is what it, what it is, it's the fact that you've been, like, give me a sign and they thought, ooh, physical sign is touch her. Like... Let's swipe at the back of the neck. It, when it, when oh, swipe, it, it was... It was like a... Ooh. Like a... Kind of thing. Oh it went that hard. It was like, like to be honest, if it was, I hope for your sake that it like that it wasn't just... anything because what does that mean now that it's like connected I think... physically? Like, yeah. like I don't diet. know what I don't know what it means. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, it could be but... nothing, but like who knows? So we're about to do a Ouija board, and I am literally like so spooked beyond like I can't even explain how spooked I am. Do you hear that? That was you, wasn't it? That reminds me. No, I had like a no, I had like a like a no. If there's any spirit here, any supernatural presence, or any presence at all other than us three here right now, please let us know through the board. We only welcome spirits of love and light, and we don't welcome any spirits that could be harmful or detrimental to us. We don't mean to mock or to disrespect, we just want to communicate with us. If you would like to communicate with us, please take us to yes. If there's anyone here with us now that wishes to communicate with us, please take us to yes. The camera is just dimmed. I saw that. 
draw on the energy from the lights and draw on the energy from the candles to allow you to communicate with us. Please take to please take us to yes if you wish to communicate with us. Draw on the energies from the camera battery is the light. The camera just cut off. I don't know why it just cut off. Draw on the camera batteries, the lights, the candles in order to communicate with us. Is there anybody there? Was that you? Was that you? Yeah. It's just moved. Are you sure that wasn't you? I don't think so. Hold on, baby, say um, So it keeps cutting off on us, I don't know why it keeps cutting off. Do you want us to leave you alone? If you do not wish to communicate with us, take us to now. Was that you? I'm trying to lift my That was not me. me. I don't know if it was me. I just felt it move. Is there anybody here with us? I'm sorry, yeah. Is that you? It's a little slight pulse on them. I can't feel it. Ask again. Do you wish to communicate with us? <gasps> Use. I saw that. That time. Fuck. It's like a little pulse. Each pulse going towards goodbye. Draw off the cameras now. Draw off the Draw energy from the cameras. The batteries, the lights, the candles, if you wish to communicate with us. Is there anybody there? Two women friends, we can just stop in this one. Yeah. No, Lyle, I've seen it pull and you could feel it pull. I did, I saw it as well. Did you see it move? The last time that it moved, it was, was like a white crimson through it. Wasn't. It's like, could you not feel it pull? Yeah, but I don't know what it was. I fully felt the pull on me, like under my fingers, like pull away. Is there anybody else here? It's like the fourth time the camera keeps going off. Did somebody pass away here? Did somebody get seriously injured here? Draw on the energies of the light, the batteries and the candles. Please let us know if you wish to communicate with us. If you wish, if you don't want us to communicate with you, please let us know by taking us to now. Did you feel that? I said let us know if you want to send through the port. I heard something in there. I heard my heart rate. I felt it in there. Oh, I thought it was over there for your heart rate. I've just said then, I said please let us know by giving us a sign, then pause, then said through the board. I think I said something like that. Did I say something like that? No, but basically my point was, I didn't say through the balls I, when I asked for the sign. And then we heard the noise over there. I mean, I don't know what it was, but... I don't know. Is there anyone from the 15th century here? Is that moving? I feel it. I can't see it moving, but I feel like I can feel it drag. Draw on the lights, the camera batteries, the candles to use energy to help you communicate. If you can, move the planchette. If there is a spirit or supernatural presence or existence here that doesn't wish to communicate with us, please let us know by taking us to one on the board. If the spirits here, supernatural existence or presences, that doesn't wish to communicate with us, 
please let us know by making a sound and we'll end the game. Should we end the game? Mm. Thank you for maybe trying to communicate with us. <coughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye. Then flip it. Do we have to flip it? And then drag it off. <coughs> I don't know what it is, every time we try and do a Ouija board, we just don't ever get any like interaction, like any proper interaction. There's always sounds around us and movement around us, but nothing actually comes directly through the board. I genuinely think it is, because it must be down to the fact that we're only asking for spirits of positivity and light, and maybe they, they don't want to be like they disturbed. Don't well, to be honest, a Ouija board, part of a dark, I don't know if it's a dark, it's a dark magic, art, but it's a dark it? practice. Um, so obviously maybe spirits of love and life can't actually come through to this because it's on the darker side of like the that realm. And obviously we're not welcoming the dark spirits because <coughs> we're way too scared to do that. Like we probably wouldn't risk doing that. I wouldn't do that. I don't feel comfortable. So maybe that's why we're not getting any interactions because with the Dalton rod and the EMF meter on the other videos, we've had easy interaction that's like smoothly across the rod. But even sounds and stuff like So like any like obviously like we're not stopping the dark spirits from engaging with them dows and rods but we're stopping the dark spirits from coming through to this board True. so that's probably like that's my only explanation why that we're getting activity in one gadget but not the other we actually are planning on staying the night here um obviously the Ouija board didn't work so we're just gonna we've done well we could try the dows and rods one more time before we yeah call them night. i don't know like when it comes to the Ouija boards because i'm so scared of doing them i don't know if they're like you block them. Subconsciously them. block it. Like, I feel yeah. like I, I open myself to some extent, but I feel like I, I've got this, like, wall that I don't completely, like... Yeah, I was really trying to open myself up to them. I feel so scared. Just, yeah. like, I feel like I do to some extent, but I feel like there's a bit of me that's, like, don't come through, even though, like, I want it to. Yeah, yeah, and we've literally listened to, like, everyone's messages when they've responded to the videos and, like, reached out to us and said, you know, like, you need to be more cautious doing this, that and the other. And I think, like... Obviously, we really, really appreciate it and we wouldn't know what we were doing if it wasn't for the amount of messages that we've received from people. But I think that I agree with you. It's set up a wall of paranoia, but which I think is a good thing because I think it's put a guard up that I didn't know how to set up yeah. when it came to things like that. And I think that's why when I was younger, I did see things and I have experienced things in like dreams, in real life and like full apparitions in front of me. And I think now... That's why we're having such a hard time actually communicating with something. If there's anyone here in this room with us that wishes to communicate with us, please cross these rods. If there's any supernatural presence or being or existence whoa, here, whoa, please whoa, cross whoa, these whoa. rods. That was so smooth. See, this is crazy. Like, this is making me think you're right. Like, like we we're can't stop land. dark presences from communicating. I mean, we probably like could say it, but we didn't feel like we have to with the dowsing rods just because they're not so much known as like these dark objects. So every time we don't stop them from communicating, we have such easy access. Maybe should we ask them? Yeah. Would you? Would you? Would you, would you try to communicate with us if we would have let dark spirits come through on the Ouija board? Would yeah. you have came through? Did you try to communicate through the board with us? Please cross these rods if yes. If you try to communicate with us through the rods, please let us know by crossing the rods. <gasps> no, I think we need to just carry on a sec because we've got this protection around us, imagine a layer of protection around us. I'm imagining. Let's keep going. Oh my god. Did you have an accident at this hotel? Cross the rods if yes. Are we okay, okay to be communicating with you? Are we okay to communicate with you? If so, cross the rods. Thank you. I'm just changing the shoes. Fuck their shoes. Like, I don't feel safe. I don't know where one it is. More. I just don't feel hot. Should we just try one more and then one more. finish? I'm not taking part. Okay. If this is Sumner, please let us know by crossing the rods.
If this is Sumna, please let us know by crossing the rods. Thank you. If you are a positive energy, please let us know by turning these rods outwards. It's crossing inwards. What did you ask? Are you a dark, dark energy? Cross if it is. I can't remember what I said, but... It was. That's it then. We no longer wish to communicate with you. We Bye. wish to leave every form of communication here. Well, thank you for trying thank to you communicate, for communicate with, with us. I don't know if we're confused it though. Because one minute we were saying turn them That's in right if you're positive and next minute we were saying turn them what out. Did I have to watch back what I said. I can't remember what I said. I said no, I, I know I said turn them out if you're a positive energy and it crossed them in. in yeah. So it's not a positive energy because it didn't turn out. But I also didn't well, say cross it. The first time you asked, you said if you're positive energy, you crossed them and you crossed them. So you'll have to let us know what you think that was because we didn't know that we've just confused this bit. So we didn't know that it was actually of love, light, or of darkness. That was too much for me. That was crazy. I, think, I think we've cracked it though. I fully think we've cracked it because when we don't welcome the presence, like when we when when we're not putting restrictions on what like presence can come, we have all sorts of interactions, it's like it's so smooth. That's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. I, I think you're right though, I think that's what it is because we get all kinds of signs and sounds and movement and obviously the rods and movement, the EMF meter's always going off and then it doesn't go off, like there's so many signs that we're getting given but it's just the Ouija board doesn't work. So like we're we're, we're placing restrictions straight. around the board. We're only like, mm -hmm. well, we're only sort of like letting ourselves engage to some extent with the board. So it's like as soon as we sort of like open ourselves up to completely with the rods, there's no restrictions. There's no like, like the engagement just flows. I don't know if anyone else noticed as well. It was like the second or third time, like towards the end when you were asking, is it of dark energy? Um, before they turned out, they were proper fighting for ages so I wonder whether there's the actual good spirit here that's what I said before, as well as someone mix. else there could yeah. be a mix of spirits here so what I think of when you say that is that the dark energy could be being like Fool. oh yeah it's fine and the good one is protecting us and being like no yeah stop it you, you don't know what you're welcoming in so you're not meant to trust anything that you're welcoming in like it could say it's a good spirit and realistically it's not, it's not. gonna call it a night now we're gonna get into bed and set the camera up and just see what happens like we're gonna attempt to stay tonight obviously if like something traumatic does happen like and i don't feel safe i would be saying but we're do, are we actually aiming to stay tonight And me and Rosie have just been asleep and Louise has just woke us up saying she doesn't want to stay here no more because she keeps hearing like movement and like knocks and stuff by the door. Um, so yeah, we're literally just leaving now because Louise can't sleep and we're just well away. Um, technically, we stayed the night because it's quarter to five in the morning. But yeah, we'll keep you updated if anything else happens. So just to wrap up the series, all of us went into this somewhat sceptical. Rosie believes more so than me and Lindsay did. Um, but after experiencing everything we have in each episode, I'd say we're all definitely one million percent believers. Yeah. This whole experience has literally just been crazy. Like, yeah. I can't believe half the stuff we've actually encountered. Yeah. And I didn't I, expect some things what we have experienced to even happen. happen. I just thought I it would be like a bit of like not a dead end but like yeah. I thought I didn't expect to detect as much as we did but also we do want to just point out we're so happy with the support that everyone showed everyone you know sharing reposting 
watching, liking, and subscribing, and even just reaching out to us and sharing their own experiences with the paranormal. It's just been amazing. We're so happy that people actually find this entertaining. Moving on, even though this is the end of LRL season one, with the whole spooky season for Halloween and things like that, we are gonna continue making content. Have we found all the answers as to whether the paranormal is true? No. Will we carry on making content like that? Yes, but not right now. We are gonna carry on with some more content that we find fun and interesting. Some more like vlogs, more crazy shit that we are gonna get up to. But we hope that you all still come on this journey with us and I can't wait to see where this takes us. And as always, thanks for watching and thank you for the continued support and we will see you in the next video.